Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of NTW's Ignition. I'm Donnie Driftwood, sitting here with Jimmy Rotten. And this episode's coming from the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. That's right, Driftwood. Up first, we got the top row wrestling. That's how we was the pre-show from this evening's show. Jackson Hap representing the United Kingdom Championship here. I believe Top Rope has a presence in the United Kingdom. Never seen either of these guys to an action. I'm, I'm excited to though. Let's see what we got for a competitor. Fans here in South Philadelphia seem pumped up and ready to go. Yup, like we said, right outside of Tool Man Joe's, South Philadelphia, right down the street from the ECW Arena. Got Tony Luke across the street. Jackson Hacks getting them fired up here tonight. Jackson Hacks, he's a smart fellow there. Yeah, the crowd's just loving the UK top rope champion. This next group, though, they're a creepy bunch. I happened to see them wandering around the parking lot earlier. Not somebody I wanted to encounter. Jackson Hacks about to encounter him face to face. I don't know how he's going to come out on top of this one. I'm sure he's looking to take that title home with him. Probably hang out with another guy we've seen frequent the Northern Tier locker room, Freaky Doyle. Wait till you see this cast crew. Got Pen Asylum. Like we said, never seen these guys in action. Excited, excited too. They look dangerous, though, Driftwood. I mean, I'm not going to lie, Rod. It looks like we got a couple of jugglers on our hands here. A couple of South Philadelphia jugglers. I told you you wouldn't want to count them counter them. And there's Ben. I'm guessing he's the leader of this group. I'm guessing. Maybe they're going to answer that age-old question, what is a juggalo? I guess that's what it is. Bringing weapons. I don't remember seeing this was scheduled for a hardcore match. Maybe they just don't listen to the rules. Here in Philadelphia, anything can happen. Make sure you stay tuned for all the other hard-hitting matches to come later this evening. It's our main event. Stockade, the deathmatch our his guardian, does battle with one of his old foes. Bulldozer, Matt Vermont. That one's sure to get interesting. So now we got, in the black and yellow, Jackson Hacks facing off against the man in the red here, not the masked clown, Ben Asylum. Yeah, we're talking about that Kool-Aid, man. This guy wants a piece of the title, too. The ref's going to have his hands full trying to keep these guys under control. Especially with that whole crew that Asylum brought out with them. Perhaps they are the Asylum. They look like they came from one, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. 
straight out of Meadows. This guy got a weird twitch to him. Pretty scary fella. It looked like they were performing some kind of ritual in the parking lot. I got the hell out of there. There's empty Fago bottles everywhere. Someone in Violet J. Shaggy Tudo. Let's see what these guys got. The fans ready to get things kicked off here in Southern Philadelphia. Hex grinning ear to ear. He thinks he's got an easy one here, it looks like. We all know how that Philly crowd is. Wild bunch. Rambunctious. Accusations of a hair pull here from Ben. Not much hair to pull. Saying, no, there's nothing there to pull. If anything, my hair's gonna get pulled. I'm just as confused as you are, Rock. Hex, I don't know if he's got any relation to Jonah, but that's a good ass movie. You know, speaking with his manager earlier, he told me they were third cousins. I don't know if there's any truth to that, but I'm not gonna pay for the DNA test. I'll oh, believe him. Absolutely not. A little test of strength here from Ben. See what he's got. He's gonna this... lock it up. Is he gonna keep it faithful? Wow. He does. He gets overpowered. Hex really wrenching the knuckles there. Asylum trying to catch himself after that vicious wrist lock. He wants another one. He's planting hard this time. Let's go. Oh, can't be honest twice, though. Well, I rate. No, that's almost Hex's fault for falling for that one. Yeah, you were just fortunate enough to get that first one. Crowd not happy with that. Ben here right claiming though. that he outsmarted Hex. I mean, really, he did. Prou really proud of that. It's a power play. Boom! Drop, drop kick to the mid section. Oh, following up with another one. He's had enough already. The sniper needs to regroup. Yup, need to get a breather. He did that Fago regain his composure. Yup. Even though Hex is outnumbered three to one. Hex hitting a little tranquilo pose here. He's cool, he's calm, he's collected, he's ready to roll. Come, I'm come really surprised. Get back in here. I'm really surprised by the presence of Hex here. I thought he would have been a little shaken by these spooky bunch out here. No, it doesn't even look like it's phased though. You look like the type of dude that would definitely cut you in an alley. Yeah. Oh, he just wow. puts him right out of the ring. Not today. That's a far drop to the floor, guys. And as you can see, there was no padding. It was straight concrete. Yeah, there's no side of me in the ground. Hex just looking ultra confident. Yeah, yeah. Asylum hasn't got much besides an eye rake this match so far. He's just looking casual, really. Came out here, put his belt on the line. Feels like he feels like he's instant taking it home. Getting time to breathe here. Asylum looks shaken. That was a far drop, like I said. That's a high ring, folks. Yeah, nothing, nothing to stop at. Oh, oh, invisible man move, maybe. Max looks to capitalize. Should have hooked the leg. Looks like, looks like the old weirdo there got a little bit of the referee. I guess. Old clown shoes. Hex trying to work Asylum back to his feet. Asylum finally able to get some action in. Not too long though, he needs the turnbuckle. A little breather. Ooh, big slug from Asylum. Elbow to the back of the head. Looks him off. Oh, back big elbow. Line elbow. Hex is just has has the lead in this all over Asylum. Yeah, if you were scoring this at home, I'd say it's about eight nothing right now. All hacks. I just, I just don't think Asylum was, or Ben was prepared to come out here. Oh no! Not the dragon he sleeper. Outweighed, out, outnumbered, he had an easy win. He's struggling for air here with this dragon sleeper. The ref counts oh. one. I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he's coming back from this. Oh. oh! Got a little bit of free Russ oh, on the hand. Oh, falls though. That's it. That's it. That's it. The ref Always. calls it. Hex isn't letting up. He's making sure he's out. Yup. Hex is dumbfounded about how easy that was. 
telling him his boys are going to have to carry, carry him to the parking lot. Hex with a strong showing here in Southern Philadelphia. Oh, Sludgehammer. Maybe you should have used that before your guy lost. Somebody up in Connecticut might not be happy with the use of that thing. There you go, folks. There's match one. Plenty more to come. Hex able to retain it. Whoa. These guys, though, holding on to his title. I mean, if it, if it adds anything to those guys, oh. it's a bit for The ref with the, the old silos. Kansas City shuffle grabs the title, and that's it. There's your winner, Jackson Hex. Hope you guys join us for another episode of NTW's Ignition.